Hello everyone, welcome back to the second channel. Boy, do I have some interesting news to go over today. It's just come to my attention that Andrew Tate, who you may remember from my video about the alpha male club, that like insane business slash degrading women slash firebending club. The guy from that video is apparently under investigation for some absolutely devious acts. And I should probably say before I get into what they are, be warned that this video is gonna cover some heavier topics such as potentially sex trafficking and abuse. So I would definitely steer clear of this video if you are if you are sensitive to those things. And that is because this article from the Daily Beast came out that said police raid MAGA king of toxic masculinity, which I suppose is Andrew Tate, in human trafficking investigation. If you're gonna show this can, can you blur it please? Because I don't want these fucks who make this sparkling water to get any free promo. I haven't really read this article yet, so I'm curious to see what it says, but in the video, I talked about how he has this like webcam empire where he convinces women who would never do any kind of sex work to get into the webcam business. And it sounded to me very abusive and manipulative. And in my head while making that video, I'm thinking like this literally sounds like sex trafficking. But since sex trafficking is a crime and I don't wanna like defame this guy who might have been running a very legitimate business. I didn't want to be like, this guy's a sex trafficker. But uh, lo and behold, this dude is literally under investigation for sex trafficking. Holy shit. I mean, this is insane. Romanian police raided the home of prominent pro-Trump online personality Andrew Tate this month as part of a human trafficking investigation. Before the April 11th raid, Tate was best known as a kickboxer and a vocal Trump supporter in the online far right. I guess I didn't realize he was such an outspoken Trump supporter. I I mean, that makes sense, like given everything we know about him, but I did not come across that when I was making my video about him. I guess I was mostly just focused on the club and we dove a little bit into like the kind of stuff that he does on the side or like how he makes his money. But yeah, I've since found out a lot more about him. So we'll go into that too. He's got a very far right presence. On social media, Tate portrayed himself as a wealthy cigar smoking playboy, prompting one admirer to dub him the king of toxic masculinity. But Tate's treatment of women had an ugly side. No. Shit. One of his admirers actually dubbed him the king of toxic masculinity, but get this. He actually didn't treat women too well. This is stuff that I didn't know either. In 2016, he was booted off the British version of Big Brother over a video of him hitting a woman with a belt. Jesus Christ, dude. Am I allowed to even say this in a YouTube video? It's just crazy that like a lot of his followers probably don't know this about him. I feel like a lot of people are just like, no, this guy just like gives dating advice. And sure, he's a little bit harsh sometimes, but like he doesn't hate women. He's not like an abuser. And then lo and behold, he's being literally investigated for human trafficking. Also, six years ago, was booted off a show for beating women. Let me see if I can find him on Big Brother at all. I don't watch Big Brother, so I don't, I didn't know anything about this. Andrew Tate enters the house and causes chaos. Yeah, that sounds like some shit he would do. Oh, there he is. Look at that fine specimen. I am kind of curious to see him interact with other human beings, because he's usually like alone, surrounded by only cars. The only things that truly understand him, cold machines. Second be like, well, who the hell's actually nominated him? I mean, here he gets on with everyone. So I, they don't, they're not going to understand. The second he gets around other people, he's just extremely overwhelmed and can't form a sentence. Uh, 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 I'm around real women and men for the first time. Fuck, what do I do? I think Jackson. Marco, he speaks. Kind of no, no, but right Jackson, now, Jackson with, right now with the dynamics that are going on in the house, I definitely think Marco's going to be the better choice. If we don't to fuck people. Well, we're going to do a vote. We're going to do a vote on this one. Yeah, Marco, yeah, Marco. Both. He seems kind of shy. I don't know. Everyone else is like interacting and he just kind of chimes in occasionally with like, no, we should do this. Oh, I think, no, I think we should. Maybe this is before he got his giant ego. Okay, anyway, apparently he was kicked off because he was hitting women. This March, Britain's Daily Mirror tabloid profiled him and his brother Tristan Tate and their Romanian-based business, which used webcam models to trick men into sending the brothers tens of thousands of dollars. Wait, huh? It's also like a scam business? I thought it was just like webcam type, uh, you know, sexy stuff. In one video on his YouTube channel, Andrew Tate said 40% of the reason he moved to Romania was because Romanian police were less likely to pursue sexual assault allegations. Dude, you're telling on yourself. You're self-reporting. Holy shit. Dude literally said he's moving to a country where he won't be prosecuted for his crimes. Oh my God. Tate's unsavory activities didn't stop him from building links with the stars of the Trumpian right in 2019. Tate palled around Washington, D.C. with prominent online Trump activists and conspiracy 
conspiracy theorist. He was on Infowars a few times. On April 27th, the spokesperson for the Romanian Policy Agency added that no one has been charged or arrested yet in the case, but the investigation is ongoing. Okay, so Andrew Tate apparently hasn't been arrested. They just raided his house. Why did they raid his house? Video from the raid shows police officers armed with rifles milling among Tate's sports cars with a neon Tate logo on a wall in the background. Another video showed Tate and his brother being shoved into vans by police officers before being driven away from their home. Kind of sounds like they were arrested. He wasn't arrested. He was just kind of shoved into a van by police and driven away to jail. Oh shit, it's like the actual place where he films his videos. Am I a little bit surprised that those cars are actually there and that he like apparently does own these cars or at least like, you know, has possession of these cars? Am I a little bit surprised? Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that he's not just flexing. Am I impressed? No, I'm not impressed that he made this much money doing the absolute most evil thing in the world. A Romanian newspaper reported that the raid was sparked over reports that an American woman was being held captive at the Tate house. Police found both the American and a Romanian woman in the building during the raid, according to the report. Oh, well, that seems pretty cut and dry to me. They got reports that a woman was being held captive and they went there and they found her. No girls were found in my house and nobody was arrested, Tate said. Yeah, dude, I think both of those things are actually wrong. It seems like allegedly a woman was found in your house and also you were escorted away from the house by police. So, I mean, it seems like both of the things you said were not true. Also, it's kind of funny that it seems like the only thing this dude cares about from all the videos I've watched about him is like getting attention from women and like make, making it seem like women are all over him all the time. So I do kind of enjoy the fact that he's now trying to make it seem like women, there's no women ever at my house. There were no girl, no girls were found at my house. I never have girls in my house. Women hate me. Andrew Tate appeared to address the raid in Instagram pictures featuring him smoking a cigar in a staged interrogation room as faux police officers officers loomed over him. Tate added a caption, officer, I think we can all agree that bitches love to lie. This is insane. I mean, like, honestly, I'm not that surprised because the video that I made about him before really made it seem like he was a sex trafficker. And it turns out that that might be becoming true. All right, let's see if we can find him talking about this on Instagram. I'm curious what his comments are from like his supporters. Okay, so I guess he's in a fake interrogation room smoking cigars. This post has 37,000 likes. The top comment is real G. Can and break the unbreakable. Oh my God, he's got stands, dude. He's got like Andrew Tate's logo as his profile picture and his username is Tateism. Everyone's commenting real G, big G. Is that like Andrew's nickname? Everybody calls him big G. What does that stand for? None of his fans seem turned off by this. This is very disturbing. Yeah, they do. They do lie. They lie. They love to lie. That's why I moved to Romania actually because I know that women are gonna try to lie about me so much that I actually have to move countries where no no one will believe them. I cannot believe you took pictures. Okay, well, obviously this isn't the actual interrogation room, dude. This is like the stairwell of an apartment building or something. These are obviously staged. It's not obvious to stupid people. Man, people are obsessed with this guy. What the fuck? In front of a McDonald's, I have a Bugatti, the Big Mac. People just listing foods, the Big Mac. Someone else comments, hash brown. People are trying to order things from Andrew Tate. Fries? French fries? Okay, hold on. I think I, I've just found the first negative comment on an Andrew Tate post. Post. It's in front of McDonald's and someone says, why are you even advertising this BS? Why are you advertising McDonald's, dude? And people are commenting under, I'm hoping he owns a few franchises. Otherwise, I have no idea. You guys are upset he's in front of a McDonald's? That's what pisses you off? This dude had a woman in his house being held captive, allegedly. And all the comments under that post were like, hell yeah, brother. You know, in all of the other posts, he's also promoting a BS business, but it's his BS business. It's his webcam scamming empire. You guys aren't upset about that at all? McDonald's, oh, fuck them, they feed people. It actually does seem like his interrogation posts did underperform. This has 37,000 likes. Most of his other posts have like 43,000 likes. So maybe he did lose a few people with that one. But then they came back for the subsequent post. They were like, I don't know about this man, but hell yeah, he's walking in the desert. Hashtag top G. He's big G. He's cool G. He's top G. He's smart G. All right, now I gotta Google insulting words that start with G. Negative words starting with G. What can I call this fool? Goofy. That's what the G stands for, goofy. You absolute ass. You literally own G like the letter G was made for you. Yeah, you are literally such a goofball, dude. You are so goofy and silly. I remember seeing some TikToks of him that were insane too. Here's here's one. A lot of people ask me, Andrew, why do you have a machete next to you? And my answer. 
Oh my god, did I just like that on it? Oh shit, dude. I did not mean to like that. A lot of people ask me, Andrew, why do you have a machete next to you? And my answer is simple. Why wouldn't I have a machete next to you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you weren't like involved in a bunch of illegal businesses, that would be one reason that you wouldn't need to keep a machete under your bed. Maybe if you were nice to people and you didn't have to worry about people coming into your house to kill you. Those are just a few things I could think of. Why don't you have a machete next to your bed? Because I'm just a YouTuber. I'm not, you know, holding people captive in my house. Really not weird. In fact, there's, a, there's at least one, depending on the room, between one and three machetes hidden in every single room in my house. He says that's not weird and then goes on to make it even more weird. No, it's not weird because I actually have hundreds of machetes in my house. It's not weird because I'm actually extremely paranoid. Some little pussy ass dude once said to me, yeah, but if it's next to your bed, what if you like upset a girl and she catches you cheating and gets a machete? Bro, there's no female alive. Calling women female? Excellent. That would stand a chance against the immense power I possess. The immense power he possesses. Bro thinks he's a super villain. Bro is a super villain. Bro, he's a superhero, bro. Whoa, is that the real Mike Tyson? <gasps> Did this video get taken down? Oh, this one was so funny. It was about him, how he can't read. Fuck, where'd that video go? Let me see if I can Google it. Andrew Tate doesn't read. Stop reading books. Reading makes you stupid. Andrew Tate on reading books. Yes, please tell us, Andrew. Please tell us how you got so smart. Reading books is a very cheap way to, I guess, entertain. I wouldn't call it entertainment because my brain is far too advanced. I'm too smart to read. Yeah, you can tell from those Big Brother clips how smart this guy is. Everyone's talking and he's just like, oh, oh, yeah. You're too smart to read? What does that even mean? You can't be too smart to do things. You can be too dumb to do things, but being smart makes you able to do more things. It unlocks new possibilities. You'd be able to read newer, like more interesting things that would like expand your brain in different ways. What the fuck are you talking about? I need action. I need constant chaos in my life to feel content. I need to be driving a supercar and fucking fighting. Yeah, do dumb people drive and fight? I don't think so. They read. I can't just sit there, oh, oh, and the pirate on the boat. The pirate on the boat? That's the only book you could come up with? Yeah, I think you were reading a book for like six-year-olds. I could understand that not being mentally stimulating for you. Actually, for you, I... For you, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if you couldn't even make it through that, then I understand why you don't like reading. And the saddest thing is, when I Googled this, you see these are all posted by like Tate fan accounts. Tate Speech, which I think is his account. Tate Aikido, Masculine Excellence. These aren't people making fun of him. These are people posting clips to be like, hey guys, the new Tate just dropped. He says, don't read anymore. Don't even read the title of this video. Just click, just look at it. Click it and then fight the video. Get in your car, play the video while you're driving really fast and then just start punching your phone. That's how you get smart. Nothing is stopping me from becoming bad. Nothing. I have a bat cave. Okay, yeah. I'm charismatic. I'm charismatic. Sorry, I'm just gonna keep playing the clip over and over of him sitting in the room like, uh oh. I'm charismatic, dude. I'm suave with the women, all right? When I'm in a room, everybody knows my presence. And I don't just sit there silently. Like the one time anyone's ever seen me in a room with other people, how I did back then, that, that's not how I do it, man. I'm charismatic. Nothing stopping him from being Batman. I mean, he is rich and does have cars and shit, but the, I think there is something stopping you from being Batman and that's why you're not Batman, right? You're not actually out like fighting crime, helping people, trying to make a difference in the world. So there is something stopping you. I understand why it's kind of hard for you to put your finger on it, but it's your personality. It's like the way you view the world. That's what's stopping you. Because you're right, someone with your amount of wealth and charisma should be using all of those things to help people. But instead you have a podcast where you talk shit about women and you have a business where you exploit women and use all of them up money for your own personal gain. So I think, you know, if I could help you out for a second and just like point to the thing that's stopping you from becoming Batman, it's just like, it's just you. It's just who you are. Oh, and the top comment here says hair. Yeah, that too. Ooh, people in the comments arguing about how rich he is. Yeah, bro, he's not that rich. And then the person who posted this video said a hundred million plus. LMAO, definitely not. Yeah, Batman is a hundred billion dollars. Batman owns satellites. I don't think Tate can afford that. Yeah, that's true. I mean, even if this dude is rich, he is not as rich as Batman is. How much is Andrew Tate worth anyway? Now I'm curious. This website says 20 million. This website says 30 million. I honestly actually don't think you could swing it. I don't think you could be Batman. 30 million dollars? You know Batman has like military grade equipment. You know how much like one military thing costs? Military stuff costs so much. Like everything costs a billion dollars I feel like. How much a tank costs? Okay so if you want the Batmobile that's basically a tank that's gonna run you six million dollars. That's already a fifth of your net worth dude. The Batman 
suit. I mean, that's gotta be another million dollars. There's so much R&D that goes into this stuff too. Also, Batman keeps his identity secret. There's no way you could do that. You would be bragging about it constantly. All right, well, anyway, that's that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I just wanted to do a quick update. Thank you for watching. Sorry if this wasn't very funny. I just thought it was kind of a necessary update to the video. So um, yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.